the thing is, this is the best word I know is upheaval. I'm on record as stating that before the Russians and Chinese will attack America and, des and destroy it, I said this five years ago, God would reveal the sins of the leaders to the people and the people's sins before a holy God. As this entire situation unfolds with Hillary, all her higher echelon, Podesta, every single person that is involved with her, the Attorney General Lynch, the cover-ups, Bill Clinton, the child pedophile, and which, by the way, you've probably seen the story today, that the New York Police Department said if the federal government will not come clean with what they know on this entire unfolding, I would say, hellish book of the dead, all the things that are evil going on through the Clinton administration, the Clinton cartel, etc., that they will make it all real. Now, it's not unusual to see that there's always some form of, you know, chatter or single person uh, being revealed in Washington for the predators they are. But to have this happening now, I believe, is in response to God's people believing Christians washed in the blood of Jesus, interceding on their face with prayer and fasting, because it still comes down to watch what God will do if his people will seek him. For whatever reason, God responds to prayer, and he wants to see that his people care. So that's why you're watching this thing happen, in my opinion. Now, again, Sheila, five years ago, there was no Russian or Chinese standoff to the degree there is now. And let's just start with big news. Number one, I think Trump will have to, and I'm assuming at this point he's going to be president. Just about, uh, I think it was about the week or two weeks before he announced his presidency. I was on Coast to Coast, and I made the statement that I was backing Trump. And I said, knowing who hates him is my reason for backing him. And George Norrie said to me on the air, is this an endorsement? And I said that I back him because of who hates him and what he's saying. Now, everybody, you know, the, the Christians are straining at gnats. If my sins were revealed from the time I was, uh, you know, 18 years old, I'd look like a nightmare scenario. But what's limited, in my opinion, is the ability of Christians, the evangelicals, to understand that God raises up whomsoever he likes, where, whenever he likes, and who's to say that God cannot bring about the most miraculous transformation in Donald Trump's life? Listen, it's supernatural. No man could stand against 93% or 97% of the media lies, innuendos, and, and character assassination. No man could stand in his own strength. So, therefore, I maintain that Donald Trump is being supernaturally strengthened by the living God. I know there are people that obviously are going to vote for Hillary and claim to be Christians, and I want to give a message to all those today, Sheila, on your show. Those Christians who are pro-abortion, pro-Hillary, knowing that Hillary is involved in every form of crookedness, chicanery, treason, the links to the pedophile rings, all of Bill Clinton's dealings with Epstein, all of the unfolding horror stories of selling out our country, and treason's treason, obviously the blackmail of Loretta Lynch by the meeting with Bill Clinton on the tarmac, you know, where, quote, it was just a chance meeting where they uh, talked about grandchildren. Well, that's the biggest batch of baloney I've ever seen. So the thing that we're looking at right now, as the political spectrum goes totally to a flashpoint, the Russians are sending a clear message. Now, I'm, I would encourage Donald Trump to take all financial sanctions off Russia and de-escalate this. Look, here's the deal. Our military has been eviscerated, emasculated, castrated, and adulterated. And we have, obviously, all the secret stuff out there that the average person doesn't know about. But also, the thing is, is we have a president who has done everything to indicate that he will not defend the United States, that he will leave our military in harm's way. He's done it, obviously, Benghazi. He's done it in every area where anybody has stood up to us. So the point that I think uh, President Putin's making is a very well-stated point. He's on record as saying, and Donald Trump's on record as saying, they can work with each other. But, you know, Sheila, the thing that's astonishing to me and absolutely, you know, puts my mind into a mental meltdown vortex is this, is that people don't get it. 
Putin is on record as saying if Hillary is elected, it will lead to nuclear war. That's not blustering. And what would you do if you were hearing the crazies in Washington, the neocons and hell spawns, ganging up, and to say this, that they're going to make war on Russia. Number one, they accuse Russia of being behind WikiLeaks. We now find out through Steve Pachinik and others that obviously this is not Russia. This is the, if you will, 16 different intelligence agencies, military intelligence, all saying the same thing. Hillary has got to be defeated, and we will not. We will not serve her. Now, look, here's the deal. You can buy off, you can blackmail, and you can kill, obviously, everybody who seemingly is the main point of contention in your quest for unbridled lust for the White House. But one thing you can't fight against is the combined effort of the intelligence agencies and the American people that are saying, Trump, look, here's the thing, to the self-righteous Christians get over it. Now, Sheila, maybe you know the name of the lady, and I don't follow this. Maybe you do. She's a very prominent evangelical. That's Beth Moore. Okay. Well, Beth Moore, for anybody to say that, knowing her position, I would say this. I will not judge where she stands with Jesus Christ, but by the fruit of what her statement is, that is absolutely abhorrent to the kingdom of God. And I'll say this. I'll put what I heard from the Lord up against what she heard from the Lord, and I'll debate her if that's, you know, if that's what it takes or that's what the Lord wants. The idea is this. Those who vote for Hillary, being pro-abortion, all of the things that she's done, treason, all of the unusual deaths attributed to she and her husband's reign of terror, they are condoning all of that. And I put it in the same category as Hophni letting his son Eli get letting Hophni and Phineas. Eli was a high priest, and he just turned a blind eye to what his sons were doing until God smote them and basically cut off their lineage forever. I don't know the degree of deception, but the little I've picked up is absolutely horrific to think that you can have God's favor by endorsing the Moloch madness coming out of uh, the Hillary campaign. You cannot uh, get around the WikiLeaks where even Hillary's on record as stating in one of the 650,000 plus that she thinks she'll go out and sacrifice something to Moloch. Now look, ladies and gentlemen, if she calls herself a Christian, you've got to put it in the same context as a rat hanging out in a bowl of chocolate chip cookies calling itself a chocolate chip cookie. At the end of the day, the rat's the rat, the cookies are the cookies, and everything to the contrary, no matter what the rat said or his actions, he's not a cookie. So the idea of Christian evangelicals, evidently some following of the women evangelicals, being offended over the sexual stuff, listen, you need to be offended, ladies and gentlemen, and all those who are listening to that woman, over pedophilia. You need to be furious over child sacrifice, literally, blood sacrifice to demons. And you need to get up and grow up and seek the Lord while he may be found. You know, it's not unusual, Sheila, for the history of the world, for God's people to embrace total paganism, turn away from him, and then claim they're still children of the living God. It just isn't going to happen. And so the idea of that I find so abhorrent as to, you need to slap yourself in the face and go, is there really a Christian saying that? Now, I understand all those who want to have friendship with the world. I get that. But I also would remind them it's enmity with God. And as I've stated before, those who've heard my testimony, I've been before the judgment seat of Christ, literally translated, and I know what it's like. And I can only share this with you, that it's a real thing. And I would hate to have to explain to Jesus, well, Lord, I endorsed abortion, and Lord, I heard about the murder, but I really didn't believe it. And at the end of my whole defense before the Lord here, depart from me. I never knew you. Depart from me. Ye who work iniquity, lawlessness, I never knew you. So how long, Sheila, have a major portion of the evangelicals embraced the idea that the contemporary entity in the White House, which I term the slaughterhouse, you know, they believed him that he was a Christian, though every single thing he said, maybe with one exception, trying to use the words of Jesus to better his position, have been pro-Islam, anti-God, anti-the Word of God, and yet the, the people of God 
absolutely must be blind and they must be deaf. But the good news is God who created the eye, he sees. God who created the ears, he hears. And God who created the heart knows the thoughts and the intents of the heart of men. So that's where we're at right now. We are on a collision course with World War III. And by the way, I will say this. Donald Trump may be a timeout, as I've explained it. Now, I'm not a sports fan. You probably know that. But even I know that there are timeouts and there are intermissions. God historically has stopped the clock on multiple occasions, even according to, you know, the sun going backwards, uh, according to, you know, Joshua's request. The thing is, is that I think we're right now at the point where God's people will determine the entire outcome. I believe a man is known more by his enemies than by his friends. And the fact that Donald Trump is saying what everybody thinks, but it's too cowardly until they have a leader. You have to have a strong leader. And I think that we're right at the point. We're at a flashpoint. A flashpoint is that point where just the slightest increase in a degree causes everything to burst in flames.